I'm Doug Lloyd, CEO of Committee for Ballarat. Committee for Ballarat is a membership based organisation that uh, deals with over the horizon issues in Ballarat and the region, aiming to leave a sustainable legacy in the economy, in social development and in community cohesion. And with me is the Chair of Committee for Ballarat, Tony Chu. Welcome Tony. Thanks Doug. Tony, what uh, benefit is there for Committee for Ballarat from having the membership base that we've got and a broader membership base than we've got now? Well, um, the be benefit, let's, let, let's start first with the benefit to members being a member of the Committee for Ballarat. Um, there are quite a few, but the big uh, benefit for members is that they can have a real say in the future of Ballarat. And when I say that, I mean that, that members can come together as we do every year to discuss the future big issues that are going to face Ballarat and usually they, they are things that are probably well in advance of what current um, governments are looking at. Um, so our members can not only have a say in what we do but actually get um, active participation in those project teams. And uh, benefits for communities? Well for the communities, I think the community can see what uh, the Committee for Ballarat has done. They might not, may, may not recognise that it's been the committee's work, but clearly it has, uh, right back uh, to the start of the Deer Park Bypass when the committee initiated that project and now it's come to fruition and the people of Ballarat and the wider region are seeing the benefits of that quicker travel to Melbourne. Other projects such as stormwater harvesting, uh, the Committee for Ballarat was really the lone voice in trying to accelerate water sustainability for Ballarat. So we can be pretty proud that now we've got a full lake and we've got a process that can actually harvest stormwater in the future. Um, the leadership group? You're going leadership, to yeah, leadership is another fantastic program that really is the, the brainchild of the Committee for Ballarat. It's been going now for about six years and a, a number of graduates have, have made that transition through the leadership program to now becoming emerging leaders in the region, which is really satisfying. I like the work that's been done to show that the first four years of graduates have com contributed a, a million dollars annually into the community by community capacity building through their volunteers. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. I mean, here, here is a, uh, a, a group of people who are contributing um, in a way that, um, you know, I, I think should inspire other people to, to be involved. What about the benefits to committee from membership? How does that come about? Well, we've got probably about 80 members now, which is, uh, you know, represents a, a broad diversity of organisations and businesses, not just in Ballarat, but across the region. So, in not, not for profit, local government, the big end of town, and small business. And so, um, the benefit to the com committee of having that diversity is the broad advocacy that we have when we go to governments and talk about the projects that Ballarat needs. Um, we can actually say to government, uh, as a, which is different to local government um, when we go to state and federal government, is to say, here are organisations that have invested in this city and invested in this region, we're here for the long term, and that gives us greater credibility when we go and lobby for projects. Yeah. I like the fact that we can go there lobbying, saying our only interest is the long term future of Ballarat and the region. And there's no particular hook in which uh, someone who's being approached, shall we say, um, can say, well, this is a group of uh, manufacturers or a group of miners or a group of exactly um, right. you know, commercial interests and so on. But, but saying that too, we can, if there is a particular uh, area of interest, we can go with, with the credibility of that organisation. We often will take members from businesses or organisations that have a real interest in that particular area of work. And our, our reach and interest in the region as distinct from Ballarat? Well, we, as I said before, we have uh, most of the regional uh, shires involved with the Committee for Ballarat. Um, we have businesses that range from the education, uh, health sector to manufacturing, food and other, other products. So that really is a, a really diverse organisation, both up and down and across. Thanks, Tony.